Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope that you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today on the channel, we are in downtown Los Angeles and I just want to take the opportunity to show you how to shoot double exposures or multiple exposures on the Canon EOS R6. So multiple exposures or double exposures are consecutive shots that are taken one after the other and blended over each other to create unique images. And that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, we're gonna take the opportunity to take some of the nice cityscapes here in Los Angeles uh, and develop some nice multiple exposures. In fact, let's take a look at one on the screen right now and enjoy the, some of the palm trees and the overlooking um, highway or freeway that's down here in downtown Los Angeles. You certainly can create long exposures in software such as Photoshop and others. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot it right in camera and let me show you how. So the first thing that we wanna do is get into your menu system and go to the red menu or the shoot menu of the Canon EOS R6 menu system and go to page five. Once you're in page five of the red menu system, click on multiple exposure. What you will see is that multiple exposure is disabled. Go ahead and click on disable and it opens a little sub menu. Go ahead and select on function control. Once you have selected on function control, the next line is selecting the multiple exposure control. It opens a sub menu that reads additive, average, bright, and dark. Now you can play around with these settings and try what might look good to you or just try and experiment. It's always good to experiment, but I usually stick with additive. So let's talk about the next three lines in this menu. One is to choose the number of shots that you want blended. I usually just stick with two, but experiment with doing more if you'd like. But to start out with, I would suggest just selecting two images that you're gonna blend in camera. The line after that is to save source images, and that is just to save all images that you take on the camera, which means your originals plus the blended image, or just the results only. And the final line on this menu is to select whether you're gonna shoot continuously or one shot only. I usually stick with continuously so I can get a set of these images one after the other until I'm done. And once you shut off the camera, it actually shuts down the um, multiple exposure menu and therefore you would have to enable it again, which is a good thing because you don't always want to be shooting in multiple exposures. And the final thing in the menu system that you can select to start off your multiple exposures, the camera actually gives you the opportunity to select the actual first image. So if you already have an image in your camera on your SD card that you would like to select, go ahead and select select first image or select image. Then what you do is find the image that you want and then go out and expose it or multiple expose it or double expose it over whatever scene that you want. And that way it'll create the image that, or it'll blend the image that you have in the camera with the one you just shot. Hopefully that made sense. Let's go out into the city and let's go shoot some multiple exposures. All right, so for my first shot, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually in front of the Lincoln Heights defunct jail. It has closed down and no longer in service, thank thankfully. <laughs> And so I have a shot here. I just have it propped up on the ledge here. And I'm going to sit right here on these stairs. And that is going to be my first image, kind of a profile portrait. And then we'll juxtapose it against another piece of the building. I think uh, there's some really cool um, old glass with a bunch of graffiti on them and see what kind of shot we can get. So I have a 10 second, ti I have a 10 second timer on here. And I'm at 1 250th of a second, F11 at, I believe, ISO 250. So I have a 10 second timer. Here we go. All right, shot is off. Now we're gonna cross the street and we're going to um, get a second shot of the building glass here. 
All right, now we are just across the street from the building where there is some glass that is broken and has a ton of graffiti on it. I'm going to set this image, which onion skins or gives you a light detail of the first image. I'm going to put it against this glass and then we'll see what we get. Again, it's all trial and error. I will say probably, I don't know, 40% of the time I'm successful, maybe less, 30%. So you just have to try, do trial and error, and just keep, 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 keep it on. Here we go. Oh, let me turn off my 10, no, I don't know. It's, on, it's stuck on 10 second timer, so I don't want to get in the menu system and mess it up. Here we go. All right, shots on the screen. Um, probably could have made it a little bit straighter, but it gives you the idea of what we're trying to do out here, and that's create some multiple exposure images. Let's get into the city a little bit more and see what we can do. So a few tips here before we wrap up from downtown Los Angeles to have a successful double exposure or multiple exposure shoot. One, go ahead and when you shoot the first image, shoot either a light image or a dark image either one and then juxtapose the second image against a dark image or a light image but try to keep them kind of yin and yang or opposites there that's going to allow you to kind of fill in the frame on your camera with the the uh the interest in the foreground in the background and just try to fill in unique images sorry try to fill in the open spaces with the again foreground and the background that you've developed in your images the next tip would be to don't be afraid to move your camera around into different spots. Do a 360 um, view of the area and see where that first image would fit nicely with a second image. Again, you're going to see an overlay in your camera, which is really cool, and you'll be able to see the first shot in front of whatever you're putting the camera in front of. So. Um, so that being said, just make sure that once you shoot off your first shot, then look around and try to find that second shot of interest that'll work nicely and pairs nicely with that second image. All right, that's going to do it here from Los Angeles, California. Hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to shoot multiple exposures on the Canon EOS R6. All right. Until the next one, you guys, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video if it provided you any value or you just enjoyed it. Comment down below. I'd love to chat with you and ring that bell to notify you of new videos when they are posted. I love y'all and until the next one, peace.